Pedro Cajuda faces a tiny but formidable enemy. Bark beetles live in the Bohemian forest. It's his job to locate and exterminate them before it's too late, and he's under time pressure to do so. These are mature beetles attacking the tree. Then they create a new generation. The female bark beetles lay the eggs in these grooves. They turn into larvae, which eat away under the bark. Petra says that one infested tree will infect five or ten others. Once a tree is infested, it's too late. And there are no natural barriers, such as mixed woodland areas. The Bohemian forest is largely made up of monocultures. The consequences are devastating. The authorities say around a third of the Shumatska National Park on the Czech side is affected, 180 square kilometers. This is where bark beetles wreaked havoc in the last two years, 2009 and 2010. We cleared the trees and destroyed the beetles. No beetles, but no trees either. The new head of the National Park introduced chemical beetle traps. This prompted an outcry on ecological grounds. Even high-ranking politicians got involved in the debate. But the forest rangers themselves aren't interested. Chemicals have been used to combat the bark beetle ever since the National Park was founded. It's nothing new. The debate is just about politics and the media. It's all a lot of noise. Environmental activists don't only accuse the park authorities of using chemicals, but of using them wrongly. Above all, the pheromones used to trap the beetles. It wasn't just the poison traps. They also placed the pheromones on living trees. What that means in practice is that the beetles are then attracted to the trees, and the number of trees cut down increases. Together with the adjacent Bavarian forest, this area constitutes the largest contiguous national park in Central Europe. Thousands of trees have been axed here in the pursuit of the bark beetle. Some areas are officially protected, but are still not safe. Once bark beetles have arrived, there's no stopping them. And what's more, they don't recognize international borders, like the one here between the Czech Republic and Austria. Some of the protected zones straddle the border. The Schlegel Monastery owns almost 6,000 hectares of borderland forest. The basic problem is that core zones were implemented right on international borders. That made it impossible to take action against the progression of bark beetles on the other side. The Czechs don't want trouble with their neighbors and are now working flat out to halt the beetles at the edge of the core zone. Around 900 afflicted trees along a 500-metre-long section were stripped. The Austrians have praised the joint efforts, and the head of the Czech side appreciates it. I am happy that everyone involved is satisfied. We achieved our goal in the limited time available, getting rid of bark beetles from an extra zone along the border area. But environmental activists are angry. They claim that the protected zone has in fact been reduced in size. Local politicians, they say, are primarily interested in attracting tourists. Allegedly, the Hochficht mountain, which is inside the protection zone, is a prime target here. We believe the real objective is to open up the forest so that they can introduce a ski lift. That's what they're really planning. Is this purely deforestation under the cover of plague control? As long as the arguments continue, there appears little hope of stopping the beetles.